I think one of the biggest ways that psychedelic stacks actually work um, is that ketones are elevated, um, especially when you've done things like um, fasting, you know, going into the journey, right? That's, that's typical. Like when you go back through history, like people were doing many day fasts and then doing this plant medicine journey, this holy experience. Well, the deeper you are in that fast, the more elevated your ketones are. Those are neuroprotective. Those also help with neuroplasticity. And those are turning on your brain cells that prefer ketones for fuel over glucose. So that's one of those things that I'm studying that I, if there's ways to further in, improve uh, ketogenic levels, that you're going to further improve neuroplasticity and brain healing in the plant medicine space. So adding things like glucose disposal agents, things like metformin, berberine, dihydroberberine, doing things like high intensity interval training to uh, glycogen deplete going into it, fasting, like we talked about the ketogenic diet, exogenous ketones, C8 MCTs, these will be all ways to boost ketones and improve neuroplasticity and brain healing in that space. So these are my stacks. If you're looking at the screen, this is pre-journey. So I'm setting the table. So definitely hydration gets talked about a lot. We're definitely dehydrated going into most journeys. Uh, you want magnesium. About 80% of us are deficient in magnesium and it's related to about 250 different reactions in the body. You know, muscle strength, you know, uh, regularity in the gut, uh, brain health, uh, bone health. There's so many things that uh, immune system that magnesium is related to. Adaptogens. This goes into uh, things like maca, rhodiola, ashwagandha, ginseng, uh, lion's mane. These are adaptogens. They help us normalize and regulate. What happens there is you're getting a greater resiliency. You're improving that stress bucket. You're becoming harder to kill with these adaptogens. They're the most legendary herbs of all cultures, like maca in uh, South America, rhodiola in Russia, ashwagandha in India. You know, these are the legendary herbs because they do everything. When you optimize your body, you improve your stress resilience, you function better. You have a bigger stress bucket, allostatic load, and you are harder to kill. So you can get better sleep, better focus, you know, have more energy, more muscle mass, better sex. Like all of these things are related to these adaptogens. So I'm a big fan of using those and that will help normalize your stress levels going into a journey. Uh, prepping your um, serotonin by doing saffron, uh, which modulates serotonin, D3, vitamin D3 helps, and then SAMe, S-adenosylmethionine uh, um, is something that you wanna use as well. And then this one is really fascinating. You may have heard about lion's mane for neuroplasticity but there's one called 7,8-dihydroxyflavone that literally, there's a protein called BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor that's associated with neuroplasticity. And that's a, key, that's a key component of doing a journey is, is one, ego dissolution, and two, being in a neuroplastic state where you can learn things, you can rewire the brain more easily. The 7,8-dihydroxyflavone is superior to actually injecting the protein BDNF itself. And I've never seen something like this in supplements. So you want next level neuroplasticity. You want to be resilient in the brain. You want to learn new things more quickly, like all this Mind Valley content that's amazing. Take 7 8 dihydroxyflavone. Uh, next up is B vitamins by getting the right forms, the methylated coenzymated version. So for B12, that's methylcobalamin. For B6, that's P5P. For folate, that's 5-methyl uh, tetrahydrofolate. So it's the active forms that don't need to be converted. And then lastly, pre-journey, I like some uh, supplements that revolve around mitochondrial health, which is PQQ, CoQ10, and ergothionine. Ergothionine is actually being studied as a new vitamin, and we have unique transporters and storage for it in our body 
And this is unlike pretty much any other ingredient I know of, maybe other than iron. Like this is like so fascinating that we were evolved to need ergothionine. It actually protects your mitochondria uh, on that on that level, which is amazing. So you have this unique transporter for it and then unique storage system for it. You have a deficiency of it. So it's being studied as a potential new vitamin. Really cool. Uh, during the journey, I don't do a whole lot. I do hydration, electrolytes, magnesium, B vitamins, a little bit of theanine to relax a little bit more if needed. Um, but that's it. You know, I don't want to get too complex with too many things going on during the journey. And when I say pre journey, I mean the days leading up to it. I'm priming my body. And then peri journey means intra journey. Uh, so just, you know, anything that I would have in my water bottle. 